The following is a presentation of the Matt Talk Podcast Network. The mind of Pat Papalizio is a wondrous thing. And for you Pac Wrestling fans, you'll get to go inside the mind of the skip each and every episode here on the Pac Mentality Poppins Podcast. Now, here's your host, NC State Director of Athletics Digital Communications, Ryan Reinhardt. A happy new year to all of our NC State wrestling fans out there. Welcome to the first episode of 2020 of the Pack Mentality Poppins podcast. I'm back this year as your host, NC State Director of Athletics Digital Communications, Brian Reinhardt. And I'm joined by our head coach of the Wolfpack, it's Pat Pablizio. Good to see you again, Brian. Missed you over the break a little bit, but I'm glad we, we get to finally catch up again. I feel a little bad I didn't spend 14-hour uh, days down at the scuffle with you, but I was there in spirit. I watched... We yeah, followed. It's good. We missed you. The I, grind isn't for everybody. I was going to say, hey, you know. You look for fresh, though, so that's all <laughs> I needed. Yeah, I, I had one day off. It was great. Yep. But, Pat, no guests this week. It's just you. You're really going to have to carry this episode. But our fans, they really love when you're on your own podcast. Your attendance, it's a little bit up and down. I'm not going to say anything too bad, but have fun. Numbers full- don't <laughs> lie, Brian. Have full confidence that you're back in that director's chair up at WB, bringing the energy. We're on our 59th episode of the Pack Mentality Poppins podcast. So if you're ready, we got a lot to talk about here. Let's hit it. Uh, a lot of NC State wrestling action recently in nothing but duels from here on out once, until we hit the postseason. So give us a little bit of coach speak. Tournaments, you guys get a lot of matches against teams you might not see, but duels really get the crowds into it. Nothing beats having all eyes set on that mat for a one-on-one match from here on till March. Nothing but duels every weekend for NC State. How much do you enjoy this switch in the schedule? I think it's great. I think it's good for wrestling. I think uh, hopefully at some point we switch over to duels to uh, crown our national championship teams because the team aspect, I think, attracts way more attendance than the tournament. Uh, it's hard to follow just for your common fan. But yeah, there is great wrestling in tournaments, and there's some uh, great adversity you guys got to deal with. But at the end of the day, to continue to grow wrestling and uh, fill arenas, we got to go to dual meets, and that's it's exciting to watch. Would you go to eleven weight classes? People want two twenty as a weight. Yeah, I'm not against doing that. I think it could be. There's uh, it would be interesting if we did do that eleven eleven weights. It would high school. I mean, you can go back and forth. What weight would you have been? Well, right now, I'm a... Not very, now. Uh, back in your prime. <laughs> I could get down to the 150s. 49. You'd be a hell of a 49 pounder. I, be... I didn't even lift back. <laughs> I'm, I'm huge now. Huge. <laughs> but, uh, of course, in this exciting weekend here in Raleigh upcoming, your Wolfpack's going to host number 12 Princeton this Saturday at 1 p.m. And seems like forever since the Wolfpack wrestling was in Reynolds. That season opening duel against ODU is way back on November 15th. How excited are the guys to step back into their home gym? They got to be. I mean, we've been on the road a lot. We've traveled. We've wrestled a ton. We've improved a lot. We've worked on a lot of different things. So I know these guys are excited to come into Reynolds and showcase their skills and obviously against some really good competition so it's going to be a, a really good exciting dual meet and a great atmosphere people going to recognize you i don't think you shaved since then i'll shave i'll, I'll trim back up i did last week what are you talking about the scuffle i was clean i didn't see you at the scuffle you, I, yeah I, it was not it was nice i had the day off from yeah me. but uh tickets are available at the door so go ahead or secure your tickets now by visiting gopack.com slash buy tickets and more fun that night after the duel over in the Tally Student Union, Wolfpack Wrestling will hold its annual casino night. Of course, lots of games and fun, but great way to, great way to socialize with alums and coaches. And a lot of great prizes. Just this week, Nick Wazdowski was putting the finishing touches on some art that he's going to be giving away. Pat, how's attendance looking? How much do you guys look forward to hosting this event every year? Yeah, uh, Nick's got a great little prize that he's uh putting together so he'll showcase his skills off the mat i think that'd be a good product but yeah we got a lot of good items to uh raffle off the uh attendance right now is pretty solid i think we're close to if not ahead of schedule from last year and i know 
our alumni have been working extremely hard to uh, continue to build this event up. But this is a really neat event to have. It's It's been growing each year more and more, but it's one that you can kind of – bring some new people involved into wrestling that you know may, might not come out to a duel meet but then once they see what's going on they they jump on board and it is it's just a good attendance it's it's laid back it's fun and i like taking your chips too on the poker table so it's even more enjoyable i think we got two poker tables this year i hope we did wow. maybe we need three well you realize i'm working that day so i mean that not that night you said day <laughs> you can't do a double shift you can, do. you can do two days love it but uh of course, the Wolfpack Wrestling Club supports the Wolfpack RTC, and our guys are gearing up for those Olympic trials and hopefully the next steps, Tokyo and the 2020 Olympics. And also over the recent break, the U.S. Senior Nationals took place down in Dallas, and more from the Wolfpack RTC punched their card to those Olympic trials. It's now up to four right now with one more qualification tournament to go. But Nick Wisdowski, Mike Machiavello, they were all quite qualified. And based on their finishes now, Tommy Gant and Jacob Casper will be joining them up at Penn State at the Olympic trials. Great run by those two down in Dallas. What is next for those four as they get ready for March? Yeah, we'll continue to train. Um, those guys are all helping each other. And then they'll hit a training camp out at the Colorado Springs and possibly one more tournament overseas. I know Nick will be wrestling in a, in a tournament or two alongside maybe with uh, Mock Tommy and uh, trying to get Casper in on it as well. So, yeah, those guys will will continue to prepare and get ready, but it's sneaking up little by little, you know, and it's it's different, you know, when you're in college to when you're post college, the the layoffs a little longer. So, you know, keeping crisp and staying sharp, you know, that's critical for those guys. And that's why those training camps are extremely valuable for them. Going to NC State after a few days off for the holidays, you guys regroup, headed down to Chattanooga for the annual Southern Scuffle. I didn't want to say anything, but you got a little soft. You flew this year. You didn't take that bus. Yes, that is okay. true. I remember back in the day. I don't day, know if it's soft because I remember leaving the hotel at 3 a.m. to get to the airport uh, on the way back. And then we practiced. So. Well, that's on you. You like to leave early. Well, you want to prepare to get back, and plus it's a day of training now. Okay. So, soft while you were sleeping in. <laughs> but uh, the Southern Scuffle, you guys finished second place. That marked the highest Wolfpack finish at the event all time. Eight guys had podium finishes, led by Hayden Hydley winning 157. Trent Hydley took second, and Daniel Buller was third. Speaking about the team's performances, how would you rate it? I thought it was solid. You know, anytime you wrestle those tournaments and you don't win every weight class, it's obviously room to get better and grow. So I think we made a lot of progress and things we want to work on as a team and individuals. And when you're wrestling high level competition all the time, which I feel like we did this first semester, you know, you're going to have some letdowns and, and we also had some breakthroughs with some other guys performance, but what we needed as a team, we felt like we left there and, and got all of that. And then some, and most importantly, we left there healthy and preparing to make this push for the second semester towards uh, ACCs and NCAs. Wanted you to give a few updates from that tournament. Uh, at 149, A.G. Lighton, he racked up three really good wins before he had an injury default out in the quarterfinals. Pretty obvious what happened to him during that match. How's A.J. doing this week? Yeah, he's been, you know, unfortunately he has to miss this weekend's competition, but uh, we're lucky enough to have some depth at that weight where we got two valuable options. So Grippy will take the spot, but in the meantime, you know, AJ's got to get everything cleared from uh, the trainers and doctors, which we're thankful to have first class people, you know, on the road and, and can just make sure these guys are, you know, not at risk and, uh, I think we're just being cautious more than anything, which we need to be, and uh, we'll be fine. Take a week off and get right back at it. Um, also, both Nick Renan and Tariq Wilson, they clinched podium finishes, but then they pulled out of the scuffle. I'm assuming those were both precautionary and both are good to go? Yeah. Um, Renan was planned. That was the Wrestle 1 match day two. That was planned weeks before just to make sure we get back-to-back weigh-ins get on the scale, wrestle an hour later, and we did that. So that was uh, that was very good to see that go down like that. And then Tariq, yeah, we you know, we played that one 
match by match. Um, he's obviously not wrestling his best right now. He knows it. We know it. We're working through some things off the mat that are nothing, nothing major. And I'm confident when he gets focused in on the things that he knows he's great at, he'll be hitting from all cylinders. Uh, the luxury is right now he's still having success and, and wrestling maybe at 70%. And, uh, when things start clicking from him, for him, we know how dangerous and good he's going to be. So, yeah, we just want to be cautious with that. I think, if anything, we've learned last year that health is most important, and we we left that tournament healthy, ready to go. And having all 10 guys right now that we want to start, if we need them to start, they can start. Wanted to touch on a pair of true freshmen that are redshirting this season. Both made it to that second day down at the scuffle. Uh, Kai Orine down at 133 and Owen Treffin at heavyweight. Kai was fourth in his weight class, taking out a pair of seated guys. How are those two developing during practice and during these open tournaments? It's been great. You know, I think you see Kai's progress, uh, breakthrough tournament for him. Sometimes that's all you need is one really good tournament to let you know where you stand. I think you saw that from him. What I like about him is, you know, he's been in and out of our practice room with some minor setbacks. So he hasn't really been able to train consistently up until this last couple weeks. And it's showing now when he's out there competing. So once we get him full time, training he's going to be very dangerous his style is very good for college wrestling and yes he's made some fast gains so that's a guy that i'm going to be uh, a a very valuable option for us down the road if if needed and exciting to watch um owen you know you look at the the people he has to train with here at nc state being in the upper weights there's no there's a reason why the progress is happening very fast because he's around high level guys training with and, you know, he's studying and picking their brains. So he's able to make that progress fast. And it's hard, you know, on any upper weight guy as a, as a true freshman, it's, it's challenging. You know, you got, you got some big athletic guys that he's competing against. So this is great year for him to, to redshirt, get better and uh, put on some size and fine tune a couple things. But in that room every day, Training with our college guys and our TC guys, he's gonna he's gonna continue to improve rapidly. Talk about in that room. I saw Mock down there today. Yeah, that, that dude's huge. Mock is yeah. Well, you know the weight that he wants to go for the trials. He's That's putting insane. on some good size and he looked good. Have you locked up with him lately? Yeah, no problem. Okay. He knows the deal. <laughs> uh, on to this weekend and on to Princeton. And first off, big promotion for that duel for those coming to Reynolds. I think you spearheaded this giveaway. I know you're going to line up for and be one of the first 300 fans Saturday for the Prince of We'll receive free Bojangles. Awesome. Wow. Pat, I, I knew you'd like the sound of that. I see you about every day up at Western Boulevard in that drive through lane. But uh, my favorite promotion, it's still upcoming, mainly because it was my idea. That's why it's my favorite. But. It's going to be a hit, I will say. Biggest giveaway of the year, Virginia Tech Duel. Not going to spoil it quite yet. But. That one will, will go fast. It will go fast. I'm going to steal one of them, too. I was going to say. Uh, there's going to be one less to give away. We we just we had to make sure today that someone would be in attendance for that one. Yeah. But we got that all squared away. But, Pat, the Princeton duel, it's over 40 years in the making. NC State and Princeton, they have not faced off in a duel for over 40 years in 1978, to be exact. Wow. And I think you were in high school back then, so I'm sure you watched that 1978 yep. duel. Just definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, how did this duel come together? Yeah, I think, you know, first of all, Princeton's a program is obviously doing really well, and they've made some short, fast gains, and that's a credit to their coach and staff. And their alumni are backing it, and, you know, it's a program that wants to win. And that's why we wanted to get them on our schedule. They were down here wrestling some other competition, and it, it works out well. Sometimes, you know, we can piggyback two duels off that when teams come down here. And anytime you can wrestle a high-level competition – we uh, we wanted to see that, and it worked out just scheduling wise. And there's going to be some really good key matchups across the board for both teams. Home and home for next year, or just a one off? Yeah, if it works in our schedule, um, we didn't originally sign up for that, but I'm not against doing that. You know, if uh, if it plays into next year, it could be it could be a no brainer to continue to do this. Who doesn't love to get to New Jersey in the winter? Definitely. New York too. Uh, New York, upstate. I don't know. Don't be knocking upstate New York. That's half our roster. (laughs) Believe me, I'm well aware of that. But uh, so ACC duels they start in a couple weeks. How important was it for you to bring such a highly ranked team like number twelve Princeton down here? Yeah, I mean, the the end of the day, the goal is to get the best teams in the country and on our schedule, and especially at home, and uh, worked out very well for us because. 
we didn't have a ton of home dates this year, and they stepped up. Um, and, and actually is playing out to be a really good duel and with high-level competition. So this is going to be a great atmosphere, and we're going to need a, a rowdy crowd in there to, to make a statement. NC State is 23-8 and eight against ranked foes over the last five seasons, looking to increase that win total this weekend. The Tigers feature three guys ranked in the top five of their weight classes. Two are ranked number three. Now, they're going to be over at that other school that you wouldn't name Friday night, and then they're heading over to Reynolds on Saturday for a 1 o'clock duel. And great matchups. NC State has six guys ranked four in the top ten. Princeton, they'll fe- and this Princeton duel is going to feature a pair of top ten matches at 157. Hayden will face number five Quincy Monday, and Hayden was just named the ACC Wrestler of the Week for the third time this season. He has three top ten wins so far, and Monday's a familiar name. His brother's over at UNC, and his dad was a former Olympic gold medalist, and he has six top ten wins, including three in duels and. That is going to be one heck of a matchup right there. Yeah, and you're going to see some fireworks in that match, and that's uh, that's what you want. You know, you want two really good guys putting it on the line and wrestling, and uh, you know, it's good. Both guys have seen some really good competition, and it's a match that you know I know Hayden rises to the occasion for high level competition and looks forward to those kind of challenges. So we're excited to see that one play out, and uh, it'll be fun. It'll be a lot of points probably put on the board there. Up at 197, another top 10 battle. Uh, Reen is at number eight this week. Princeton has number three. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. But, uh, you know, Reen is just back, but he's got five matches under this belt. By far the biggest test that he's going to have so far this season. Definitely. You know, another good quality kid that's uh, shown, <clears throat> excuse me, good success early in his career. And it'll be a great test for Renan, you know, coming back and, and finally getting some matches under his belt, his weights under in check, his confidence, not just wrestling, but in himself as far as being able to compete has risen. And he's had a really good last week of, of training between the tournament and what we've done the last several days. I like where we're at. And uh, we'll continue to improve and get better for these kind of level of competition. But, yeah, this is one. I like it because it makes anytime you wrestle on high level competition, it makes guys really focus in on practice that week, and that's something we've seen. Rena knows he's got to have a good week, and uh, his training's falling into play because of that. Those are just the two of the best ranked matchups in that duel, but some great competition. Wolfpack fans, let's pack Reynolds Coliseum red this Saturday as NC State will host Princeton on Saturday at one o'clock. Tickets can be bought at the door. Or you can reserve one of those big leather seats now by visiting gopack.com slash buy tickets. Pat, looking forward to a great duel on Saturday in front of a huge, rowdy crowd. Yeah, I, I'm i thinking back. When was the last time we have wrestled on a Saturday afternoon? I know we've done Friday and Sunday duels, Mr. Stack Guy. Maybe you can pull that up. I don't quick. know that. I just I go where you tell me to. Well, Cornell. finally stumped Cor- you a little bit Cor- at home uh, at home see finally right. stumped you a little bit here good all right <laughs> but, <laughs> you uh, want to throw movie lines at me while well, i'm throwing wrestling i was gonna do, i was gonna do something but wolfpack fans let's pack reynolds we haven't seen this team at home for a while come support the program and i want to thank everybody for listening today this is your pack mentality poppins podcast covering all things nc state wrestling until next time wolfpack fans go pack Mentality Poppins Podcast is produced by the Matt Talk Podcast Network. For more wrestling podcasts, go to matttalkonline.com.